welcome back to another product update overview. We've got some big and exciting features to announce, so let's get right to it. In your workspace screen, you'll now see a new tab called AI Teams. Click Create Team, add your agents, give it a name, and hit Save. For this example, we'll be adding two agents, a product manager and a general strategist. In a team environment, your agents are aware of each other's presence and can build on each other's responses. To demonstrate this, we'll ask the team how to improve output efficiency in a large organization. In this case, Robert responded because the question centers around a strategy. If we then decide to follow up and ask how this can be applied to project management, then Ross will take the lead and use Robert's response as the baseline. This fosters a natural progression of dialogue between you and your agents, allowing you to learn from each other and actively participate. Let's expand this team by introducing Anna, who's our meeting agent. To add or remove agents, click the Edit Team button at the top right corner, then add your agents. Although you can add as many agents to a team as needed, we recommend ideally keeping it under 12 members. Now that Anna has joined the team, we'll ask her to convert this discussion into a 30-minute meeting agenda. And without hesitation, Anna is able to look at the entire history and carefully plan a meeting for us. Remember that each agent can have its own pre-trained knowledge, access to various tools and third-party applications. This is just one of many examples of how a team of agents will streamline your day-to-day -day operations and more. Let's head over to Automations and walk you through the all-new data filter. Click on Add Automation and then start from scratch. For this example, we'll use Gmail to filter email addresses that contain a specific value. First, connect the account you want to receive the emails from. Then click Add Step and select Filter Data. Here we can choose the sender's email as the data to filter. Then choose a condition, in this case if the data contains the text we're looking for. For value, we'll track emails that contain at taskade.com. From here onward, you can customize your automation to auto-reply on your behalf or perform any other series of actions. We hope the new data filters provide the necessary control to help you reduce repetitive tasks and free up more of your time. Up next, we have the agent sidebar. It can now be expanded and resized. To open the panel, click on any agent and drag the left edge to resize to your liking. This will make your agent experience a lot more consistent compared to before. With that out of the way, we're excited to finally introduce source references. When you ask your agent a question, the responses will now indicate which knowledge source was referenced to provide the answer. This will display all kinds of references, from standard files to dynamic sources like links and task aid projects. We can also preview these sources directly from this screen, making knowledge retrieval much more transparent. We hope you enjoy these changes, but we've got one last update to cover. If you're using the new agent sidebar and want to remove all distractions and chat in full screen, well, now you can. And if you're using the desktop app, it will open in its own tab. This wraps up our product update for now. Thank you for watching, and we'll catch up with you again soon.